Go. Can a trading site help make you a sharper trader? Mine can. Do you want to They've got trading specialists I can call for help. It's paper trading. Free practice trading that helps me hone my technique. Complex options. And free tutorials online or in person. Can a trading site really make a difference? It can. Why are you trading that? Number one in online equity trade. TD Ameritrade. Trade commission free for 30 days. Plus get up to $500 when you open an account. In 1565, on the Mediterranean island of Malta, a religious order Come on. called the Knights of Saint That's what I say. Come on, was bitch. under siege by a force four times its size, sent by the Ottoman Emperor Suleiman the Magnificent. Oh shit. The extraordinary I can't hit it. the tip of a dart, but I can't hit this whole due to the development of terrifying weapons. The mysterious arts of the armorers of the Knights of Malta are being investigated Man. by historian Andrew Lambert. He starts at Fort St. Elmo's, where the siege began. Out here we can see just where the Turkish galleys would have been, forming up under oars, ready to bombard the castle. And there would have been dozens of them. Each one with two or three cannon facing... I have hit him, dude. He's missing a wing. That wasn't from you. Dude, it had to have been because he wasn't walking like this the whole time. Yeah, he was. fighting was intense. Both sides were merciless, and thousands of soldiers were killed. Dude, just hit his ass already. Here's the prior one. Oh, I fucking pulled the dart out of his wing. The knights respond by beheading their Turkish prisoners, which is again blasphemous, and firing their heads back into the Turkish camp. There's no quarter expected. This is life and death, and the losers will die. The knights had to play for time. If they could hold out until the winter, the Turks would have to return home. Until then, they needed every possible device and stratagem to keep the Turks at bay. One of the devices described in the ancient texts is known as the fire hoop. For the defenders of St. Elmo, this was the crisis. Under constant artillery bombardment, the men standing at the parapet would have been carrying the load under heavy Fire, oh my god, so close. They'd have brought the hoops blazing, one man on each side with long iron tongs. And the trick was to flick them over the top and get this them iPhone 4 the camera is like beast. Up the assault bridge. They often refer to them as firework hoops. Uh, and they were, in fact, smeared in rinsing oil uh, with wool and gunpowder. What? Dude, I got him. No, you didn't. No, he just crawled over it. Oh, little bastard. He's talking to me now. And the sad part is, is like, he can't even fly anymore. And then, there you go, now he can't move. So if you don't hit him now, you just suck. We should have videoed you shooting at him. Dude, I admit it. I admit, I suck. Richard Winthrop is attempting to answer using the same materials described in the Bali manuscript. So basically we've got a I'm about to just stab his ass. We bind it with wool and cotton, and these are then be soaked in flammable oil. And then over the top of that, we start to bind material, things like coarse hestian or any old material which is, um, which is going spare when we were tricked. This is then bound around very tightly and held on with I could upload videos on YouTube then, more than 15 minutes now. Pitch, yeah. We also use flammable compounds the flammable compound Richard is using consists of natural oils and waxes, animal fat and gunpowder, ingredients available for knights during the siege. This was a highly secret formula in the Middle Ages and was applied to the iron hoops usually used to make barrels. Because of what the, the fuck? Uh, and uh, and it and uh, we'll see what happens. Huh? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, dude. You can actually see the molten pitch dripping off. Now, when I actually apply the pitch to this, I've got one or two spots on my hand. It's very, very nasty. And it, if you get any quantity on it, it adheres to the skin and it produces very, very nasty burns. I want to deliver the last After blow. <laughs> the Richard will try out the there you go. Got him! At the bottom of the cliff, 
fucking finally. After how many shots? Fucking probably like a hundred. How many times do I shoot the blowgun though? Thousands of Turks would have attacked the knight's positions at once. Richard's task will be to set fire to them using the hoops. I would have had better luck shooting them with the stun darts. Show them the gun. Show them the gun, dude. Despite their simple appearance, the damage caused by Richard's fire hoops is remarkable. It gives us an indication of why the weapon was so critical to the knights. Due to the highly flammable compound smeared around the hoops, they burn for up to 30 minutes and are very difficult to extinguish. Two or three soldiers could easily have become entangled with just one of these blazing hoops. Throwing these down in their hundreds, the knights sowed panic and destruction among the besieging soldiers. That's because a lot more